you take midpoint of every face of octahedron and join it you get a cube now this is an example of duality the second case we will discuss is getting a octahedron from cube so take every face of the cube midpoint join all the midpoints together you get a octahedron so now we have seen that cube and octahedron are dual to each other now let us put both of them on a single figure and you can see the again the duality of cube and octahedron notice how the edges are cutting each other yeah each edge cuts the other edge once so the edge of a cube cuts the edge of the octahedron once so this will be important later on so in this slide we want to talk about Poincaré duality now the easiest way to describe it is as a dual of cell structures and uh, for example we will give the dual of a polyhedra now what is the dual of a polyhedra you take a polyhedra and the polyhedra consists of certain faces you take the center point of all those faces yeah make that center point a vertex join them to construct a dual polyhedra for example we will start with a cube and as I said before we have to take the center points of each of the faces so first we take the center point of top bottom then front face of the cube right side of the cube back side of the cube left side of the cube so now we have to join these vertices to form a polyhedra and the polyhedra we obtain will be an octahedron so let us see how it is obtained so the, the, the four pink vertices are taken from the four sides of the cube and the yellow vertices from top and bottom so we have all six faces and the six corresponding vertices okay. let us draw the yellow one right here and so yeah so you can see six faces and the corresponding six vertices now we need to join them Yeah, so see on the top we have a tetrahedron four faces two you can see and two are behind and similarly for the bottom we will have a tetrahedron so two faces you can see and the two will be behind shown in a dotted line yeah so we have been able to construct the dual of a cube as a octahedron the cube here and we have octahedron here and we have constructed the dual similarly we can construct the dual of the octahedron and we will see it as a cube so let us construct that so you take center of every face I'm marking it as green so all four faces have been marked in the top tetrahedron all four faces center of the all four faces has been marked in the bottom so these green points now we have to join them yeah so the top four green points corresponding to these four green points of the cube and the bottom four correspond to these four so we have been able to construct a dual of the octahedron back to a cube now we should make some important observation So the first thing is so each vertex of the C is the cube and C star is the octahedron yeah so C star is a dual so each vertex of C lies in the face of C star as you can see 
the green vertices of C lie in the face of C star. So let us write this down. So we should write C0 is equal to C2 star. Yeah, because face is a two cell. Because face is a two cell. Yeah, similarly we have each two cell of C contains a dual vertex C star. Yeah, so that is obvious from the two yellow vertices top and bottom and the four pink ones front, right, back and left. Yeah, so each two cell of C contains a dual vertex of C star. And the third is, these edges of C and C star cross each other. So it might seem here that the tetrahedron is embedded inside the cube and the cube is then embedded inside the tetrahedron. But this is not so. You project one on the other. So when you take draw tetrahedron inside the cube, you project the cube back on the tetrahedron and then you will see that the edges intersect. That all the edges intersect and they intersect precisely once. So every edge is intersecting the other as a dual. So we will have C1 equals to which obviously one cell of the edges. So we are going to use this information later on. So uh, I will just write this down the project onto the dual just to make things clear. Okay, now we want to come to the heart of the motivation of Punkerer duality. Now what is Punkerer duality is basically links cohomology and homology groups. And for the, what we have just drawn or for polyhedra it is easy to see. So let us let us write this. So first of all we have the choice of taking coefficients since we are taking computing homology and cohomology we have to talk about the coefficient. So we cannot take integers because then it will be we will have to assign orientations and that will give us plus and minus sign and uh, we haven't talked about orientations yet. So instead we will take Z2, so it just has two elements, 0 and 1, so orientations do not matter. So let us uh, use Z2 instead, yeah. So first we will talk about a cellular boundary map, yeah, standard construction from CI to CI minus 1. So what does this do? it assigns to a cell the sum of cells which are faces of it. So to each cell it will assign the sum of cells for which it is faces. For example you take a two cell now it is sum of its four edges so that is what we have drawn. Yeah so it takes a cell and assigns to it the sum of its faces. So this map is obviously going from C2 to C1 because we have just taken the two cell. So what is the corresponding map for cohomology? So first we have to talk about co-chain complexes. So for each two cell we have a central point. Yeah, so you take the central point and uh, 
basically this delta and cohomology it assigns to each cell the sum of cells of which it is a face so this vertex in yellow it is the it is face of these four edges yeah so all these four edges come in here so i will repeat again this assigns to each cell the sum of cells of which it is a face so now you can look at the duality the map is precisely the same yeah so you, yeah basically so instead of i am taking as 2 and you can see clearly so in the first case in the homology case you take a two cell send it to sum of faces in the second case you take the center of that two cell and take the four edges of which it is a face so you can see these maps are exactly the same yeah you're taking the corresponding part to the same part in the index lower or higher so therefore <coughs> homology is equal to 2 minus i the cohomology yeah so this should be cochin complex c star z2 yeah you can see clearly why the maps are exactly the same there is on one side there is a face going to four edges on the second side dual of the face going to four edges so since c and c star are both cell structures on the same say polyhedra m we get this yeah h i is isomorphic to h2 minus i So this gives us the first idea of some kind of duality existing and we want to talk about this in coefficients z and for that purpose we would have to define orientation. So the next slide would be about orientation.